Mario's store becomes famous for alleged ghost pinata. This story is reminiscent of the scary movie Chucky, the Devil Doll, in which the toy comes to life and terrifies all people surround him. Please watch the video, and do not forget to click the like, subscribe and the notification bell. Maraming Salamat Kaibigan This is Mario Lara, who owns and runs a shop in Mexico. It's always been his dream to own his own business. His small but modest shop sells all kinds of things from household supplies and sweets and food to toiletries. His biggest selling point is piñatas. He sells all kinds and shapes. And this is where his dream turned into a nightmare. The haunting of Mario Lara's party store began with a possessed piñata called Moana. Every morning when entering the store, Mario would find it thrown in different locations. Soon thereafter, Mario and other staff began to find long strands of black hair all over his party supplies and none of his staff had hair that long. Then weird things started happening at the store. So, he set up cameras and motion detectors all over the building in the hopes of catching something on film that would explain what's been going on. What he captured on film filled him with dread and he mentions a number of times he wishes he never started this. Mario's haunting is now known worldwide and thousands of people flock to his tiny store every year to see him and hopefully to catch a glimpse of the supernatural. So far, no one has been able to debunk these videos and they all have a creepy vibe to them. Mario has opened this store to the public and to paranormal investigators in the hopes of getting some answers. Hey, manda, les voy a mandar este video porque estoy dándome cuenta que... Hijo de la chingada. ¿Ya vieron? Ahí a ver si quedó grabado eso. Ahí vieron cómo se aventó la puerta. Esas son las cosas que pasan aquí a veces. Ahí está la moana. Ahí está la moana. Y es lo que les digo, se avientan las cosas. Ah, pero no está, no está tirada ni nada. Hijo de su madre, trae una piel chinita. Eh. No, pues no. Está cabrón. Esperaba que, esperaba que me hicieran, hubieran hecho una broma. No, anda, pues vámonos mejor. Está cabrón aquí. Mario Lara's Facebook post started in October 2020, showing a piñata called Moana. No one knew what this meant, apart from close family and friends. But it all became apparently clear when he posted this video. The clip you are watching is of the storefront and in the middle is a pile of piñatas. The sound you can hear is a clock ticking near the mic and boxes and objects are moving around and being dragged all around. The lights keep turning off and on. Now, focus on the piñatas.
horrifying face appears in between the pile of piñatas and you can see the long straggly black hair that Mario has been finding all over his store. This is the point in the story where things got really bad for Mario. On the 21st of October 2020, Mario opened the store just like he always did. But on arrival, he tried turning on the lights, but to no avail. So he went towards the fuse box to see if the power breaker had been tripped. That's when he heard strange noises coming from the back. And this is what he posted to Facebook. Ya no está la... Ya no está la... Estamos la veladora por cuestiones de seguridad. Y pues, todo normal. Nadie me quiso acompañar. As Mario notices something watching him from the shadows, he instinctively runs just as the sound of a giggling child is heard. If you look carefully and slow down the film, you can see the resemblance of the faces. You can also see its hands as it holds onto the wall. This is more than just a mask. Two weeks later, on the 4th of November, Mario CCTV captured some poltergeist activity in his store. Things were indeed getting worse. If you analyse this short clip, it's like something is moving from right to left as it knocks down items as it moves past. Then, one day, as Mario was walking in the store, something happened that shocked him and his viewers on Facebook. A drill can be seen turning itself on as Mario walks over it. Then, it completely turns around all by itself and points towards Mario. Now that wouldn't be surprising by itself, but if you look carefully, you'll notice that the drill isn't even plugged in. <laughs> By now, it's become apparent to Mario and his viewers that he has an entity in his store. He can't explain the strange events that have been happening, coupled with the CCTV footage and the images. He comes to the conclusion that he has an entity attached to the piñata he calls Moana. He tries to douse it with holy water while praying. He also leaves it surrounded by candles to ward off evil spirits. But it didn't work. If anything, it made it worse. Watch.
Mario was at the end of his tether. He was scared to be in the store alone and the activity was now getting worse. He reached out on Facebook for help and a shaman called Alberto answered his call. He told Mario he would take the piñata off his hands and he sent him coordinates where to leave the doll. After getting rid of the piñata, things didn't get any better. Apparently, according to Mario, things got worse and the activity started happening daily. A television in the back started turning itself on and voices started coming through the static. This had never happened before. As you can see, he pulled out the plug out of the socket, but to his amazement, it turned itself back on again. ¿Qué? ¿Qué quieres? Then, Mario became the target. He woke up one day with a bloody nose and marks around his eyes. He couldn't remember what happened that night. Later the same day, Mario was in the store holding his beloved cat when he was attacked. This time, it was captured on camera. Watch. Watch in slow motion as Mario's middle finger on his left hand is unexplainably bent backwards. It hurts him so much he drops his cat. Now Mario takes in stray cats and that particular cat is his favourite. No way he would risk hurting his cat for a fake. By getting rid of the doll, the activity got so bad that Mario had no choice but to get the piñata back. He hadn't slept for six days and his nose was now bleeding. So, eventually, after a lot of messaging from Mario to Alberto and some on Facebook, Alberto finally agreed to leave the piñata at the same location. This is the live feed that Mario aired to Facebook. Watch. Está muy feo el camino, aquí ya se está poniendo más feo. Muy solo. Pero de aquel lado, de, de aquel lado se ven un poco de luces, entonces yo espero que, por, que no esté así todo el camino. Bueno, vamos a ver ahorita. Finally, with the piñata back in his possession, Mario returned home. But it didn't go so well. Mario kept hearing voices coming from the back of the car and he kept seeing something in the rearview mirror. 
so he turned his camera so everyone who was watching live could see. Cries can be heard coming from the back of the car. Suddenly, out of nowhere, something appears behind Mario. It looks like a figure. You can even see the face. Está casi imposible de pasar. <laughs> Horrified, Mario looked back. What he saw made him lose control of his car and he crashed into a wall. Even though it wasn't a major crash and Mario came out of it without being hurt, what he saw that night done more damage to him mentally. That night, cold and scared, Mario ran to get help. Finally, the next day, Mario had the piñata back in his shop and he hoped that the activity would calm down and he could get some much needed sleep. But unfortunately for Mario, things were not that easy. He was working on the computer one night on the 21st of December 2020 when he heard banging coming from the back of the store. Watch.
So after all the problems Mario has had, he finally agreed to getting the paranormal investigator into his shop. Now most people believed Mario Lara's haunting was real, but then some people would say Mario was faking it just to drum up business to his store. So the investigator arrived and after the initial baseline test, the investigator settled in for the night to see if he'd experience anything paranormal. Well, he wouldn't have to wait long. While he was asleep on the couch, this happened. Watch. The investigator got up and checked to make sure that there were no wires or strings and after an extensive search he found that everything was the way he'd left it. So after moving the TV back later that night the investigator was playing some games on a console that he brought with him. Unknown to him at the time someone else was interested. As the paranormal investigator was concentrating on his gaming something else was concentrating on him. Amazingly, the spirit of a child can be seen creeping out and watching the investigator. He has absolutely no idea what is happening until he played it back. The child looks almost see-through and it moves at a rate of speed which is impossible for a human. This film is not sped up. The video is playing at normal speed. So, is this the spirit of a child or a demon? Mimicking one, you decide. In the information on the news portal it is said that after these events, the owner of the store had to run out of fear of what was happening in the place. All these events have caused great expectation in people who say they believe what they see, while others are skeptical.